All right, we've been talking about valence electrons, but it's important to try to really understand the connection between valence electrons and the configuration around uh, an atom's nucleus, because that's going to be important when we go forward in understanding how elements bond. So let's look at a few things here. So what we're going to look at is we're going to look at um, a few elements. Number one, we're going to look at sodium. We're going to look at chlorine. And we're going to look at magnesium. So these are the two uh, elements, excuse me, three elements we're going to look at here for just a second. All right. The first thing we look at, since sodium is right here, sodium does, now it is in family one, right? It's in family one right there. So we know it's in family one. We know it should have one valence electron, but how, right? So let's look at and try to understand why that is, okay? So if sodium has one valence electron, we have Na, and I'm going to have Na, and I'm going to draw an 11 right there. Now, where did I get that 11? Well, the atomic number, number 11, is right there. So I want you to draw this with me because we're going to um, go ahead and try to figure this out and understand what's going on by drawing together. So we're going to have this represent the nucleus in the middle here, okay? Now, if I have 11 electrons, help me out here. I'm going to work down, and I'm going to put the number of electrons that go in the first orbital. If you remember right, that is 2. So there's an electron, and there's an electron. So now I'm down to 9 electrons, okay? And now there is another energy level, as you're drawing with me. And I'm going to arrange electrons around the second energy level. Now, how many electrons go around this one? Well, I'll give you a hint. It, the way we represent it is an octet. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight. Okay, so now I'm down to one. And that's where we get that valence electron right there. Okay, so now we have this one valence electron right there. So that's how we would draw chlorine. Excuse me, sodium. Um, sodium is, there's its one valence electron that's represented by this one right here. Notice sodium has 11 total electrons. So we know that for a fact that the 10 underneath, the 10 inner electrons are still there, but we care about the one on the outside. So like I said, I'm gonna talk about um, chlorine next. So let's go ahead and let's do chlorine next. So again, let's, let's kind of look at this one more time. Um, and make sure that you understand what's going on here. So let's take two elements. Let's take sodium, again, same thing we just did, and let's look at chlorine too, okay? All right, help me out. Which family is sodium in? Look at your periodic table. It's in the alkaline, alkali earth metals, right? So that's family number which number is that family number one, right? Yeah, so how many valence electrons does family number one have? Good, it has one valence electron, so we put the one right there. Chlorine is a, which family is chlorine in? I'll give you a hint, it's on the right side of the periodic table. Good, it's a halogen, family 17, but what that means is it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, essentially, what's going on with this, again, write this down, this is important. Essentially, what's going on with this is this one valence electron right here, it is going to leave, and it is going to be a part of chlorine, which is really going to make chlorine happy, right? Because now it has this extra valence electron, it has eight octet. But what does that do for sodium? That's the question. Let's take a look at this here. 
let's go ahead and focus on what we got in sodium. Again, sodium put right here, Na, and it has 11 valence electrons. I'll put a little circle around that. And I don't really care about the nucleus at this point because the nucleus isn't as important to me when I'm talking about uh, bonding. So I draw the first energy level. How many electrons can go in that first energy level maximum? That's right, two. So we put two right here. And that brings us down, just like we said before, 11. So now we're down to nine. We do the second energy level. How many electrons fit in the second energy level? Eight total. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. So I've used 10 total electrons. I need one more. So I'm going to draw this one right here. And I'm drawing slow because I'm not good at drawing on this, but you need to draw with me. That's another reason I'm drawing slow. Okay. Now, I want to go ahead and highlight this because the outside is the important part. That's what's represented up here. That one valence electron is represented by the Lewis dot structure. There's a lot more going on with sodium underneath, but that's what we care about the most. Okay. Now let's do chlorine next. Um, chlorine is next, and it has... An atomic number again look on the right side tell me what the atomic number is 17 good so 17 is the atomic number which tells me the number of electrons and protons if it's a balanced if it's a balanced uh, neutral excuse me a neutral atom it has 17 of each okay so 17 all right we're gonna put two on the first one right one two and then the second one, second energy level, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. I've used 10 total electrons. 10, uh, 8 plus 2 equals 10. So I have how many left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that's perfect because that goes with what we predicted based off of the Lewis dot structure. There are seven on this yellow ring, and there are seven right here. Okay, now here's where we get into it. Where, what is going on with this? Okay, so if this electron right over here, let's, this electron right here leaves and goes right there, it does two things. Now, Chlorine is very happy because now its energy, its outer energy level, has how many valence electrons? Eight. And that's great. It's very happy because it's like a noble gas now. But what does that do for sodium? For sodium, it does the same thing. For sodium, it does the same thing. Take a look. Now that this is gone, because that electron left, I'm going to circle the orange one. This orange energy level is now the outside energy level, and it is now an octet. Sodium has now became just like neon. So it has a noble, ga noble gas configuration also. Now, it's got 11 protons and only 10 electrons which makes sodium positive it makes it a cation okay chlorine on the other hand has 17 protons and now it has how many electrons 18 electrons so now chlorine is a negative which means opposites attract all right very good. So hopefully that helps you understand what's really going on with the um, the periodic, or excuse me, the valence electrons and the orbitals. All right. Nice job on this. Um, and hopefully um, you could give. I want you to give. How would sodium 
and mag, or excuse me, how would, let's do actually, let's do magnesium. How would magnesium and chlorine go together, okay? I want you to think about that. Give that a try, and I'll go over that answer very soon.